taking a look at problem 23 on 3.6. And we were finding inverse functions. And so first of all, we're going to change this f of x and write y. Then remember, we're going to switch the x and y's. Next, we have to isolate y. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of this 5. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And then the problem is my y is in the denominator, so I have to get it out of there. So I'm going to need to multiply by this denominator so that I don't have a fraction. So I'm going to multiply on both sides by a y minus 2. And when I do on this left-hand side, I'm going to need to do a FOIL, multiplying two binomials. So I'm getting yx or xy, doesn't matter which order you use, minus 5y, minus 2x, plus 10, equals 6. Now we have x's and y's. So we want to get all the y terms on one side and everything else on the other side. So I'm going to move the minus 2x and move the 10. All right, so I'm going to keep the y terms on this side. To get the 2x off, I have to add 2x. To get the 10 off, I'll have to subtract 10. So on this side, I'll just clean up. I have 2x minus 4. Now on this side, I have a GCF, and I'm trying to isolate the y. So I'm going to take the y out of those. And now I can divide on both sides by the x minus 5 to isolate my y. So this will be my inverse function. And then I'm asked to find f of negative 5, f inverse of negative 5. I will just substitute negative 5 into my x's. So I will have 2 times negative 5 minus 4 over negative 5 minus 5. So this is negative 10. Minus 4 is a negative 14 over negative 10. Can clean up the two negatives, makes positive. 14 over 10, they have a common factor of 2, which gives us 7 over 5. So let's enter our answer. So F inverse, we need a fraction. 2x minus 4 over x minus 5, and this one is 7 over 5. Now, it's going to count these correct, but I want to show you something. If you had checked and looked at the answer, there is another form of this inverse that they would take, which looks quite different, 6 over x minus 5 plus 2. This one, if you change 2 so that you can combine these two, so you would have to get a common denominator, x minus 5 over x minus 5, it will simplify to this first version.
that I put. 